Our DNA holds the instructions to make different structures important for keeping us alive. DNA is made of sections of DNA that code for particular proteins called genes. Proteins have both structural or functional roles in our body, for example, as enzymes which are biological catalysts that control biochemical reactions. Examples include pepsin, which is responsible for breaking down proteins, or as structural proteins that form part of the body of an organism, for example, in collagen that makes up tendons and ligaments and keratin, the major component of hair. DNA is a very long molecule found in the nucleus. It doesn't actually leave here and so we need a mechanism for reading our DNA and then taking these instructions to parts of the cell where proteins are assembled. These two stages are called transcription and translation. In transcription, the gene we want to copy is read and produces a strand called messenger RNA, which contains the instructions for this section of DNA. mRNA is produced in the following way. Firstly, helicase, an enzyme that unzips the double helix, breaks the hydrogen bonds between the DNA strands, and exposes the bases. The enzyme RNA polymerase will then attach itself to the exposed DNA template strand just before the gene needing to be read starts. RNA polymerase will then move along the DNA, joining free RNA nucleotides which bind to the exposed DNA bases by complementary base pairings. Only one DNA strand is read and is called the template strand. The other is called the non-template strand. RNA nucleotides contain the same basis as DNA, except thymine is replaced by uracil, so U base pairs with A. So if the bases on the DNA template strand are T, A, C, G, T, T, A, C, then the mRNA strand produced will be A, U, G, C, A, A, U, G. The newly formed mRNA leaves the nucleus and moves to the cytoplasm to bind to ribosomes, which concludes transcription. The second stage in protein synthesis is called translation. Ribosomes are organelles where protein synthesis occurs. They are made up of ribosomal RNA. At the ribosome, the bases on mRNA are read three bases at a time. Each triplet base is called a codon. The ribosome will attach a complementary molecule of transfer RNA for every three bases on mRNA. There are 20 amino acids, each one has at least one codon that codes for it. So for example, tyrosine will have the triplet codon UAU. tRNA looks like this and has two important regions. At the top is the amino acid and at the bottom it has three bases called the anticodons. These anticodons bind in complementary fashion to the codons on mRNA. tRNA binds at the start codon on mRNA, which is usually AUG. A second tRNA binds to the next codon, forming a bond between the first and second amino acid. The first tRNA will then leave, collecting another amino acid. This process will continue until the stop codon is reached on mRNA. In this way, you end up with an amino acid chain called a polypeptide chain. These polypeptide chains can be folded into molecules such as enzymes. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.